hundreds of members from SCIU Healthcare 775 Northwest rallied in Olympia, pledging to fight back against cuts. We spent the day in Olympia to report on members' demands. Let's take a look at how SCIU Healthcare 775 Northwest is united to stop cuts to long-term care. On January 24th, more than 200 of us converged on the state capitol demanding that legislators stop the cuts to our programs and raise the revenue needed for quality long-term care. Many bust in from around the state to tell their representatives that they've had enough of cuts to home care hours, training, and long-term care programs. Every SCIU member I spoke with on this cold and rainy day said they are sick of legislators ripping apart the gains that they have won with their union. Since 2008, the Washington State Legislature has cut more than $10 billion from the budget. Facing a state budget deficit of $1.5 billion, legislative proposals include reducing home care providers' hours, blocking training for caregivers, and cutting long-term care programs. Home care aide and SCIU executive board member Rhonda Paul says that the most vulnerable, like her client, can't afford the cuts that legislators are proposing during the 2012 session. Many of the most vulnerable have already been hurt severely. Uh, some have even died. And to cut more and see this happen, it, it's just devastating. I know my clients can't take it. Last year, the legislature cut $500 million from the state budget without presenting a plan to raise revenue. SCIU member Sylvia Liang told her legislators that this year they must raise revenues. It's easy to take the easy way out and cut programs and cut our care and our hours, but they need to examine the loop, tax loophole that these large corporations get away with and also consider raising revenue. Betsy Fisher has had enough of politicians ignoring what voters want. She says that legislators must follow the will of the voters who have voiced their support for training for caregivers and improvements in the quality of long-term care. Well, first off, I want him to honor 1163. It's been, gone, been voted on twice in the last three years, and the voters of Washington have overwhelmingly gone with support for further education and professionalizing caregivers' jobs. And the second thing I want, I want the, the cuts to stop. Hundreds of home care providers press this message to legislators from virtually every legislative district. In total, our members made 344 legislative visits during the day. They told legislators that home care providers and people with disabilities didn't create the budget problem and that they've done more than their fair share to fix the budget problems. Valerie Anderson Webb, an agency provider from Spokane, says it's time for the legislature to stop bailing out corporations and to reinvest in life-sustaining health care programs. I almost became homeless last year because of the cuts. They do more cuts. I know. I'm one paycheck from not having a roof over my head, not being able to put food on the table or pay my electricity bill. And I know my clients are in the same boat. They're going without because of all these cuts. They don't even have dental care because of the cuts. But let's give cuts to big corporations and our state banks when they need to be paying their fair share. These cuts represent thousands of jobs. They represent services to thousands of clients. They represent people's health and livelihoods. Help fight these cuts. Join us and tell your representatives how these cuts will affect and hurt real people like you. Follow the link below to write to your representatives and tell them to stop the cuts.